Okay, so the last hop uh, in the linear algebra segment of this uh, course. Uh, uh, this is uh, lecture six and week uh, six. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, one final thing about uh, principal component analysis, a discussion that we started three lectures ago. Uh, in today's lecture, uh, we'll understand how PCA can be done efficiently in higher dimensions. What I mean is, given data set uh, with uh, data points say in some d-dimension space. Here d is assumed to be large and suppose you are given n points. So, consider a situation where the features are high dimensional. Uh, this is uh, input points uh, are features and uh, but the number of points are small. So, it is a lot uh, efficient to work with say n cross n matrices as compared to d cross d while doing all computations in particular computing the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Now, if I were to apply the PCA algorithm naively as it is then I will be working with d cross d matrices and uh, that would take up a lot of computation. In this lecture, uh, we will illustrate a very neat trick where uh, instead of working with d cross d matrices, I can work with some n cross n matrix, I can compute its eigenvalues eigenvectors and still be achieve still be able to achieve what PCA would do uh, for a d cross d matrix. So, this is a uh, uh, the so called uh, trick where you can save computation by working with smaller dimensional matrices, uh, where the dimension is uh, uh, gone by the number of data points uh, in a situation where the data is coming from a high dimensional space. One last bit about uh, PCA, which is to understand how to do PCA in higher dimensions, and here is where. Uh, we will see the connection to SVD. Okay, so, recall the problem, you have a data set again x1 to xn, xi belongs to Rd, y equals 1 to n. Now, imagine a situation where the feature dimension d is much larger than number of data points in. So, this is much larger. So, or it is easier to handle in cross in matrices than d cross d matrices. So, d cross d is not looking at which matrices. So, in this case, now if you recall PCA, PCA what does it require? Requires finding you can vectors of the matrix C which is 1 by n summation i equals 1 to n x i minus x bar to x i minus x bar transpose where x bar is the average yeah. here x bar if you recall is summation i equals 1 to n x i now, this is a d cross d matrix, a d cross d matrix. So, now what can we do? Now, the goal now is to reformulate the problem as finding the eigenvectors of a n by n matrix. If we can do this, we can, if we can implement PCA by uh, finding eigenvectors of a n cross n matrix, then it is going to be a lot more efficient than uh, the original PCA algorithm which has to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the d cross d matrix C. Okay. Now, Notice, notice that 
rank of this matrix C is less than or equal to M. Okay. Now this is something that I want you to think about. The, by just looking at this points, you are adding uh, what is the rank of uh, Y? Think about rank of X into X transpose. Let's say something X into X transpose. And then rank of summation I equal to X into X I transpose. Now, uh, any vector uh, with some other vector transpose, even UV transpose, if you look at, it's a rank 1 matrix. And then, uh, if you add n such rank 1 matrices, then the rank of the sum is going to be at most n. Now, what does this imply? This implies d minus n eigenvalues of c are 0, as simple as that. Thus, it is not necessary to find d minus n eigenvectors. So, let we we'll write this matrix A as x1 minus x bar transpose so on until xn minus x bar transpose. Then most important C can be written as 1 by n A transpose E. Now, we still haven't solved any dimension problem, but we have just uh, rewritten the same problem. Now, let u i be an eigenvector of C corresponding to eigenvalue lambda i eigen 0. Now, we claim lambda i is an eigenvalue of 1 by n a into a transpose. Now, the reason why we are doing the switch is because this is a n by n matrix a into a transpose whereas a transpose a is a d cross d matrix. Now the proof is short and simple, you have lambda i times a u i is the same as just uh, a of lambda i u i. Now, lambda i is a eigenvalue of a transpose a. So, I have a times 1 by n a transpose a u i since lambda i is an eigenvalue of c equals 1 by n a transpose a. Now, lambda i of a is nothing but 1 by n a into a transpose a u i. Now, if you read this, you know, equation the other way, that is 1 by n e into a transpose applied on some vector a u i is equal to lambda i times a u i and plus lambda i is an eigenvalue of 1 by n into a transpose. Now, next important claim is, it is enough to find eigenvectors of 
1 by n uv into a transpose because now if you imagine you got an eigen vector yeah let's say so the eigen values are the same now uh, i just need to find the eigen vectors suppose vi is an eigen vector of 1 by n a into a transpose that is 1 by n a into a transpose vi equals lambda i vi what i am going to do is 1 by n a transpose a into a transpose vi equals lambda i times a transpose vi or 1 by n a transpose a to a transpose vi is nothing but lambda i times a transpose vi implies a transpose vi is an eigen vector of c equals 1 by n a transpose e. So that's about it. So, so instead of working with a times d matrix equals 1 by n a transpose a to find its eigen values slash eigen vectors it is enough to find eigen values slash eigen vectors of 1 by n e into a transpose which is a n by n matrix. Now this is really the punchline. So PCA can be implemented efficiently in higher dimensions by just working with Toronto. PCA can be implemented efficiently in higher dimensions that's really the point of this uh, passage okay a recap uh, before we end the discussion about pca uh, so what have we learned uh, in today's lecture we did learned that uh, uh, one could uh, apply pca uh, uh, or implement pca in higher dimensions efficiently uh, efficiency in terms of computation by uh, you know i mean for a given data set with uh, uh, d dimensional points and uh, totally n points given uh, one could work with encroissant matrices uh, which is uh, much uh, lower dimension uh, lower dimensional quantities as compared to d cross d compare its eigen values eigen vectors and still be able to achieve exactly what pca does with a d cross d matrix so at no point we are working with a d cross d matrix to compare its eigen values or eigen vectors instead we just work with n cross n uh, with n cross n matrix and uh, uh, solve this problem efficiently in higher dimensions uh, uh, so that's uh, really the uh, main message of this uh, lecture